Republic Act No. 7920, Article 2, Board of Electrical Engineering, Section 3. Composition of the Board, Section 4. Powers and Duties of the Board, Section 5. Qualifications of Board Members, Section 6. Term of Office, Section 7. Removal of Board Members, Section 8. Compensation of Chairman and the Board Members, Section 9. Executive Officer of the Board. Section 3. Composition of the Board. The Board of Electrical Engineering, hereinafter referred to as the Board, shall be created as a collegial body under the general supervision and administrative control of the Professional Regulations Commission, hereinafter called as the Commission, composed of a chairman and two members to be appointed by the President of the Philippines from among the recommendees of the Commissioner of the Professional Regulations Commission, hereinafter referred to as the Commissioner, who were chosen from the nominees of the Integrated and Accredited Association of Electrical Engineers and of other registered associations of electrical engineers and light fields. Section 4. Powers and Duties of the Board. The Board shall exercise executive or administrative or quasi-legislative, rulemaking, or quasi-judicial, investigative, powers in carrying out the provisions of this Act. It shall be vested with the following specific powers, functions, duties and responsibilities. A. Supervise and regulate the practice of electrical engineering in the Philippines. B. Determine and evaluate the qualifications of the applicants for registration with or without licensure examinations and for special permits. C. Prepare the examination questions in accordance with Section 19 hereof or modifications thereof. Prescribe the syllabi of the subjects and their relative weights for the licensure examinations. Formulate or adopt test questions and deposit them in a test question bank. Draw the test questions at random through process of computerization. Conduct the examination. Correct and rate the examination papers manually or through process of computerization. And submit the examination results to the Professional Regulations Commission, PRC, within the period provided for by the rules of the Commission. D. Prescribe. Amend or revise the requirements for professional electrical engineers and subjects in the licensure examination for registered electrical engineers and registered master electricians and their relative weights, subject to the approval of the Commission. e. Register successful applicants for professional electrical engineers and applicants who have passed the licensure examinations for registered electrical engineers or registered master electricians and issue the corresponding certificates of registration and professional licenses. F. Issue special permits to individual foreign electrical engineers and electricians for specific projects and for a specific duration of time. G. Look into the conditions affecting the practice of the electrical engineering profession, adopt measures for the enhancement of the profession and the maintenance of high professional, technical, and ethical standards and conduct ocular inspection of places where registrants practice their profession, such as, but not limited to, electric plants, substations, industrial plants or factories, commercial establishments, institutional buildings, watercrafts, electric locomotives, engineering offices, repair shops and similar places to determine and enforce compliance with this Act. The Board shall authorize a duly integrated and accredited electrical engineering association and other registered electrical engineering associations to render assistance in this function. H. Promulgate rules and regulations including a code of ethics, administrative policies, orders and issuances to carry out the provisions of this Act. I. Investigate violations of the Act and the Rules and Regulations, Code of Ethics, Administrative Policies, Orders and Issuances promulgated by the Board. The Rules on Administrative Investigation promulgated by the Commission shall govern in such investigation. J. Issue subpoena or subpoena duces tecum, to secure the attendance of respondents or witnesses or the production of documents at and relative to the investigation conducted by the Board. K. Delegate the investigation of the case to the chairman, a member of the board or a professional regulations commission attorney or PRC attorney. If the case concerns strictly the practice of the profession, the investigation shall be presided by the chairman or a member of the board with the assistance of a PRC attorney. L. Render decision, order or resolution on preliminary investigation or inquiry on undocketed cases and undocketed administrative cases against examinees or registrants which shall become final and executory unless appealed with the Commission within 15, 
15 days from receipt of the copy thereof. The decision of the Commission may be appealed to the Court of Appeals in accordance with the procedure provided in the Rules of Court. M. After due notice and hearing, cancel examination papers and or bar any examinee from future examination. Refuse or defer his registration. Reprimand the registrant with stern warning. Suspend him from the practice of his profession. Revoke his certificate of registration. Delist his name from the role of professional electrical engineers, registered electrical engineers, and registered master electricians for continuous non-payment of annual registration fees and non-compliance with a continuing professional education or CP requirements. Reinstate or re-enroll his name in the said role, reissue or return his certificate of registration. A decision of suspension, revocation of the certificate of registration, or delisting from the role by the board as provided herein, may be appealed initially to the Commission within 15 days from receipt thereof. The decision of the Commission may be appealed to the Court of Appeals in accordance with the procedure provided in the Rules of Court. N. Administer owes in connection with the administration, implementation, or enforcement of this Act. O. Submit an annual report on the proceedings and accomplishments during the year and on recommendations of the Board to the Commission after the close of each fiscal year. P. Prosecute or institute criminal action against any violator of the Act and or the rules and regulations of the Board. Q. Adopt an official seal. R. Coordinate with the Commission and the Department of Education, Culture and Sports or DECS in prescribing, amending and or revising the courses. S. Prescribe guidelines and criteria on the CPE program for professional electrical engineers, registered electrical engineers and registered master electricians and renew their professional licenses after compliance with the CPE requirements. T. Perform such other functions and duties as may be necessary to implement effectively this Act. The policies, resolutions, rules and regulations, Orders or decisions issued or promulgated by the Board shall be subject to the review and approval by the Commission. However, the Board's decisions, resolution or orders which are not interlocutory, rendered in an administrative case, shall be subject to review only if on appeal. Section 5. Qualifications of Board Members. Each Board Member must, at the time of his appointment, a. Be a natural-born Filipino citizen and a resident of the Philippines for at least five consecutive years. B. Be at least 35, 35, years of age, of proven integrity with high moral values in his personal as well as his professional conduct. C. Be a person with no final conviction by the court of an offense involving moral turpitude. D. Be a holder of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering or B.S.C. from a university school, college, academy or institute duly constituted, recognized and accredited by the Philippine government. e. Be a professional electrical engineer with a valid certificate of registration and a valid professional license duly qualified to practice electrical engineering in the Philippines. f. Have practiced electrical engineering for a period of not less than 10 years prior to his appointment, with a sworn statement as such. And g not be an official nor a member of the faculty of, nor have a pecuniary interest in, any university, college, school or institution conferring a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering for at least three years prior to his appointment, and is not connected with a review center or with any group or association where review classes or lectures in preparation for the licensure examinations are offered or conducted at the time of his appointment. Section 6. Term of Office. The members of the board shall hold office for a term of three years from the date of appointment or until their successor shall have been appointed and qualified. They may, however, be reappointed for a second term. Each member shall qualify by taking an oath of office before entering upon the performance of his duties. Vacancies in the board shall be filled by the president from the list of recommendees by the commissioner who were chosen from the list of nominees submitted by the integrated and accredited association for the unexpired term only. Section 7. Removal of Board Members. Any member of the board may be removed by the President of the Philippines, upon the recommendation of the Commissioner for Neglect of Duty, Incompetence, Malpractice, Commission or Tolerance of Irregularities in the Examinations, or for Unprofessional, Unethical, or Dishonorable Conduct, 
after having been given the opportunity to defend himself in a proper administrative investigation. Section 8. Compensation of Chairman and the Board Members. The Chairman and Members of the Board shall receive a monthly compensation of no less than 12,000 pesos, provided that the Chairman shall receive a monthly compensation of 10% more, provided, further, that such compensation shall be increased or modified pursuant to the General Appropriations Act of the Year, provided, furthermore, that they shall receive other benefits that may be provided for by law. Section 9. Executive Officer of the Board. The Commissioner shall be the Executive Officer of the Board and shall conduct the examination given by the Board and shall designate any subordinate officer of the Commission to act as Secretary and Custodian of all records including all examination papers and minutes of the deliberations of the Board. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more updates and videos. Thank you. Republic Act No. 79 2019.